from Piper Parabo advising people not to believe everything they hear to cast members potentially hopping onto a new Yellowstone spinoff, here's what the cast had to say about Yellowstone finishing up. For starters, here's what Piper had to say about the show's conclusion. Now, you all may know Piper from her role as Summer on the series, and, well, she definitely had a bunch of interesting things to say about the show ending. Keep in mind that these comments were made when she was walking the red carpet for Billboard's Women in Music Awards Gala in Los Angeles. Back then, it seemed like rumors of the show's conclusion were only really just coming out. And of course, it was mixed in with a ton of other rumors and gossip. And so, Piper shared a bit of advice with all the fans who were unsure of what was going on. She said that there's a whole lot of drama going on when it comes to Yellowstone. So don't just go around believing everything you hear. Hey, that's pretty solid advice for rumors about TV shows in general. That said, Piper's comments gave fans some hope at the time. It made them think that maybe the show would end up surviving after all. When Paramount announced its cancellation in early May 2023, it pretty much sealed the deal. So it turns out, this was one rumor that you should have believed in. But of course, she isn't the only star from the show who's talked about it coming to an end. It looks like Lainey Wilson also talked about it. She was present alongside Piper at the gala in LA. And while she definitely had her hopes up before everything was confirmed, she mentioned that she wants the series to continue, stating that she personally would love to be included too. And that's not all. She mentioned that she's got a feeling that they're going to conclude the show the right way. The actress probably thought at the time the series was going to get at least a season or two more. I personally just don't see how they're going to conclude the series without much time left. So her hopes may just end up getting shattered. Though just because Yellowstone is ending doesn't mean that Wilson is out of a job. Sure, she'd never done acting work before appearing in the series, but I think it's clear that the franchise is only going to expand further from this point on. So, who's to say Paramount won't hit her up to star in yet another series set in the Yellowstone world? And the same can also be said for this next star. Yup, I'm talking about Dawn Olivieri. Looks like the actress is going to have a pretty major regret now that Yellowstone is confirmed to be ending. When the rumors of Kevin Costner leaving the show were first coming out, the actress was asked what her thoughts were on the whole situation. She said that she'd be pretty sad if the legendary actor left the show. As someone who only recently joined the cast with the series' fifth season, she just hasn't had the same kind of screen time with Kevin as a lot of her other castmates. And well, Dawn wanted to have a scene or two with the man himself and maybe even absorb some of his sage-like Hollywood wisdom. However, not only has Kevin left the show, but to make matters worse, the entire series is going to conclude. Just as Dawn joined, I can't imagine she feels too happy about that. Now, it's not all bad news. There are still a few episodes of season five left to air, so Dawn may end up getting the chance to shoot that special scene with Kevin that she was looking forward to, but I wouldn't bet on it, because Kevin returning to shoot the remaining episodes of Yellowstone isn't even confirmed at this point. According to a report that came out in May, the actor said that he wouldn't be returning to the show. That was unless he approved of the send-off John Dutton would get. You see, Kevin knows that people in production, and especially the showrunner Taylor Sheridan, have a bone to pick with him. So he's thinking that they're going to give John a less than flattering death. They might bring him back just to have him hilariously killed off, maybe by taking a horseshoe to the face or something. Honestly, I can't even blame the guy. Considering how much fighting had been going on behind the scenes, I fully expect the writers to be this petty in this situation. They've already shown that their egos were worth more to them than giving the show a proper finale. But hey, it's not like Kevin is completely blameless here. Early reports also claim that this entire mess sort of started because he just wasn't showing up on set. Looks like he had his hands a bit too full with projects. And well, Taylor just eventually got sick of it, but that's just the beginning of the whole drama. Because other reports also claim that Sheridan had a hand in all this too. Yup, just when you thought things couldn't get any more messy. So it's possible that the showrunner may have been neglecting his duties on the main show and instead was going off and having a bit too much fun working on all the other spin-off series. This meant that the work that had to be done on Yellowstone got needlessly delayed. Originally, it seemed like the filming was going to happen in 2022, 
But because the writers didn't have the scripts ready in time, it had to be postponed to 2023. This meant that Kevin's schedule was completely turned upside down. He was hoping to get season five of Yellowstone done and dusted in 2022, so he would be free to work on his other projects. But of course, that didn't happen. What's worse, a rumor also claimed that stars would show up to shoot Yellowstone, but Sheridan and the crew couldn't even be bothered to get the set ready on time. So this led to hours each day getting wasted. Now, imagine you're someone who's already pretty short on time and got called to shoot, only for there to be no filming being done all day. Yeah, I can see why Costner was pissed. And that's not even the end of the drama, because another report claimed that the upper management thought a bit too highly of themselves. Seems like Costner had issues with people high up in production. If I was to guess, it was probably Taylor. The star reportedly even said that these people have a bit of a God complex because they seem to think their word is gospel. Now, if you're familiar with Costner, you know he's the kind of guy who loves to add his input to any project he's working on. So he'd throw some ideas on the table for what could be a good addition to a scene or two in Yellowstone. And Taylor would respond telling him to just stick to acting. That's obviously unacceptable behavior. But what makes it even worse is that Kevin was an executive producer on the show, so he totally had the right to ask for changes he thought were necessary. But hey, I guess when you're working with Sheridan, it's his way or no way at all. In the end, with all the scheduling issues, drama, and, well, general dislike the production and crew had for one another, Paramount decided it was best to pull the plug. This is sad because some actors, like Josh Lucas, were actually looking forward to doing more seasons. Josh plays a younger John Dutton in the series, and while talking to E, he mentioned that he thinks the series can continue even without Kevin in the picture. The star felt like Taylor has the ideas and creativity to lead the series in a new direction, but it seems that he just decided he was done with everything. So all of the interesting characters who could have easily taken on the reins will, unfortunately, have to find something else to do. Kind of a bummer, isn't it? Though fans might still get to see more of Rip, Beth, and Summer, because Paramount also announced a new Yellowstone spin-off. Now, details of this are still pretty scarce, but from the looks of it, it's going to be a fresh start in a new Costner-less era of the franchise. And fans are hopeful that members of the original cast will end up making an appearance on the show. It's definitely possible. This aside, there are tons of existing and upcoming spin-off series set in the Yellowstone franchise that fans can start watching. So even with the main series ending, it's not like you all will be out of content anytime soon. So from cast members potentially hopping onto a new Yellowstone spin-off to Piper advising people not to believe everything they hear, that was the cast of Yellowstone reacting to the show, finishing up.